All right, volume of a prism. In general, the formula: if we have a cubic, oh, sorry, <laughs> if we have a cubic here, we will have length, width, and height. The volume will be equals to length times width times height. It's that easy. If we have an irregular shape, so um, let's see. Uh, very sorry. Allow. Uh, excuse my drawing. If we have an irregular shape here, something like that. So we have. We will have the base area times the height. If we have a cylinder here, it's still the base area. Times the height, but because the base area is a circle, so we can in general we can simplify into pi r square times height. All right, let's have some some example with those. So for example, the first one, the basic one, I got a uh, shape here. Oh, sorry, excuse my drawing again. <laughs> All right, we have three. Five and six. So the volume is that easy. Will be three times five times six. So we have a thirty ninety ninety unit. This time is cube because it is a. It is three D. All right. So how about if we got a weird shape there? Um. Let's see. We have a triangle. Um. Like a fence here with. Some. All right. So this is three. This is five, and that bit is two. All right. So in that case, we will have to break the shape into what we need to think about first. So it's a shape here. I was thinking like this, cutting the shape into half with a rectangle there, and a triangle with the height three. So we find the base area. Will be equals to the bottom bit five times three, plus the area of the triangle, and that we have nineteen point five there. All right, and the volume will be the base area times the length uh, height there. I forgot to draw that. I'll give it a two there. So the base area times the thickness. So I have. Nineteen point five times two, so I have thirty-nine unit cube. Now let's for a cylinder. Usually a tube or something. They will usually give you a tube, not always a cylinder. So you might have to think about if it is a tube, it's a like a cylinder putting upside down. So the air, the area, the volume, the Radius is three, and the length of it is twenty. All right. Still, the basic thing: pi r square times the height. So we have pi times three square times twenty. Ah,、uh, twenty there. So with our calculator, pi times three square times twenty. All right, and I got is about、uh, my answer is about five hundred and sixty-five unit. Cute. Now let's have a challenge. I have a sector here, like say, the wall end of a piece of cake.、Uh, actually, you won't do that. We don't calculate those. But yeah, that's something. Assume that is a. So this is not in scale again. So three. And the thickness of the cake is four. All right. The angle. Let's give it an angle there. Twenty-five、uh, of forty degree. Then. All right. Yes, we are normal people. We don't actually calculate the volume of a piece of cake before you eat it. But yeah, let's make it an answer there. So the volume will be equals to the area of sector pi r square times forty over three hundred and sixty area base area times the height. It's just that simple. So, so we have pi times nine times forty over three hundred and sixty times four, and I got. Twelve point six unit cube. Okay, sorry, this is approximately equals to, and this is our basic. No, not basic. This is the area volume of a prism.